All right, everybody, we're back in the shop. Got a brand new faceplate here. Just wanna go through the Talos bill acceptor with everybody. We've had a couple calls, a couple questions. They're really reliable, extremely easy to work with. So just wanna go and go ahead and run through the steps of how to program it to accept ones, uh, fives, tens, and twenties. Um, how you want it to be programmed to interface with the Dixmore timer as well as just go over some of the light sequences for troubleshooting um, in case you end up uh, with some type of an issue. So right now we just have the faceplate powered up. If this was hanging on your wall inside the coin box, you wanna leave the power on to the unit itself. To program it, I'm gonna flip this around. What we need to do is we need to remove the bill stacker. So I'm gonna take the bill stacker off Right above the left-hand belt drive, there is a hole, and inside that hole is a button. I'm gonna use a precision screwdriver. We're gonna depress that button. You can use an Allen wrench, a pen, a paper clip, whatever you got. As soon as you reinstall the bill stacker, the green lights on the front should be rapidly flashing. That means it's in program mode. At this point, we're gonna grab the T6, T8 coupon you can get this right from our website. Um, if you go to the Talos, um, if you go to the Talos page on the website, or you go to our Coinbox resource library, it's on there as well. You will uh, cut this out. It has to be the size of a dollar. So if you just print it, cut it out. You want to use a, a lead pencil, so a number two pencil or a lead pencil. You want to fill this in. We're going to put this um, diagram up so that you can pause and check that out if you need to fill it in while you're watching the video. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the coupon into the bill acceptor. It's gonna pull it in and push it right back out. And what we're gonna do is count nine flashes on the green arrows. As long as we've received the nine flashes, it's taken the program. We wanna wait a few seconds here. The bill stacker is gonna cycle again. Once it's cycled again, we know that the program is completely loaded and we're ready to test. All right, this box going out is a 10 minute, uh, a $10 start time. I got a 20 here. I'm gonna pop that in and make sure that it takes the money. $20 for 20 minutes, it's a good starting rate. And uh, obviously we know that the bill acceptor is programmed to take 20s. It's not a bad idea if you got a 10, a five, and a one to stuff those in as well, just to make sure you're getting the right pulses for the uh, right currency that's going into the bill acceptor itself. Now let's take a second. We're gonna flip this around. So anything that's going on with this unit, you're gonna be able to check the back of the bill stacker and you can see number of flashes and status. Status is telling you what status the unit is in whether it's been disabled or if the bill path is blocked, if it's uh, a steady flashing, obviously that's our unit is, is in working order. Continuous flashing when you're not in program mode means that the bill stacker is full and that's what everybody wants to see. So past that, the only other thing I really recommend that you do is uh, we're gonna flash a part number up. We have bill, uh, bill validator cleaners that you can insert and actually clean your bill validator out over time. Everybody knows that money's dirty and people spray, you know, back spray off their cars into the units. It's a good idea to every so often, I do it about once a month, slide one of those in two or three times just to get the um, belts cleaned off and to get the scanning eyes cleaned off. If you have any other issues or any questions about coin boxes, face plates, bill acceptors, give us a call here at CleanRight and we'll get you fixed up. Be right.